What's up everyone? This is Danny Bubu. I'm here in Almany, Kazakhstan. I'm with my friend Jamelia. She's a local Kazakh. Nice to meet you. What we're going to discuss today, I'm going to do a live demonstration of how you call a cab here, which is very different than most of the world. I've been to 30 countries and maybe 45, 50 cities. And this is very unique. This is, at this point, I don't see many unique things from each city to city. A few things stick out, but this is very unique for this city. And how you do it is simply you go out like you would uh, and you put your hand out, but anyone can stop and anyone does stop. Just regular people going to, going to work, going to the gym, whatever, just as long as they're not in a hurry, they'll pull up and get you. Now, I'm curious, Jamelia, from my perspective, it seems like a lot of these people are just random people who happen to be driving this way. But it seems also there's some people who are doing this for a job. Yes. Because when I get out sometimes, or when I get in sometimes, one person gets out, I get in, and there's already another person in there. Yeah. So I'm wondering, are some of these people actually doing this for a job? Yes, there is a special group of people who are doing this for job. They're not working on some company. They just have a car and they're just picking people and they just don't give their percent from all these uh, taxi money to some company. For example, as Yandex, as Uber, they just take all money to themselves. And mostly you can see that these cars, that stuff, these are not so expensive like Shuri's cars, mostly cheap cars. Um, but sometimes, yes, sometimes very good car stuff. Yeah. yeah, that's true. Of the times that I've went, um, every time has been, and I've done it maybe eight times, They've it's all been kind of crappy cars, but one time I got a Lexus, <laughs> and I was like, whoa, cool. Um, I do it going to the gym, just a few blocks. There are a few other cities, apparently they do this in Tbilisi, Georgia, though there's a bunch of unmarked cabs there, but they seem more or less official. Um, and the interesting thing about Tbilisi is there's no rate, you just kind of pay the driver. The first time I got in a cab, I said, how much is it going to be about? And the driver said, uh, he's like, uh, you know, I'm new driver. How much are you going to give me? No. <laughs> and I was like, okay, I'll, I'll pay you what I think is what is fair. Apparently, they also do this in Moscow, Russia, but it was officially outlawed in 2011 because it's, it's more of a touristy destination, so there's more scams. So technically, it's illegal there, but it still happens. So I'm sure if, if this happens in your city, com comment and let me know because uh, I don't think it happens very often. It, for, and if this were, unfortunately, this couldn't be brought to America or any more westernized city, like a European city, they would throw a fit. Um, people would throw a hiss, hissy fit. They'd say, oh, the drivers, they're not insured. They're not insured for the passengers. It's, it's unsafe. Who's getting the, the government wants their tax revenue? You know, blah, blah, blah. There'd be all these arguments against it. And one of the reasons I love it here is because that while that's true, the drivers don't have insurance for passengers and it could be unsafe. 99.9% .9 of people are just good people. They're just offering a ride. Yes. There's exceptions to every rule, but I like to live my life in that 99.9% .9 where it's going to be safe. Um, maybe a little more dangerous for females, but I've seen anyone, tall, short, skinny, fat, old, young, I've seen everyone on the street doing this. And when I arrived, that was one of the first things I saw. I saw people on the street hitchhiking. They weren't hitchhiking, they were kind of doing this. And regular cars were pulling up, so I made note of this, and then I asked someone, probably you, and this is where they said, oh yeah, you just, any car pulls up and gets you. And I was like, oh, that's so cool. The first time I did it, and even still when I do it, I get kind of nervous because it's like, it's like I feel like, am I popular or not? Like if no one drives. <laughs> yeah, I have the same feeling. Yeah. You know, when I'm stopping for car and no one stops for a while, I'm thinking like maybe I look ugly, maybe something <laughs> is wrong with me. But actually sometimes it's, I'm just not lucky. Sometimes the first car you catch, it's the car you need. It goes to the destination and the driver is okay with the price. But sometimes, yes, it takes five to 10 minutes to catch and cars oh. just go by and you feel like a loser <laughs> ah. so if you're going somewhere a longer distance yeah it probably takes five ten minutes for me yeah. i'm only going i know limited russian so i only going straight so i always i've only gotten denied once and it's always come and come very quick i also do it on the main streets but uh, it is kind of nervous just sticking your hand out and hoping someone they have this the, their own culture when you get in the taxi some taxis are very talkative and they start talking with you about politics about economics and if you're a girl they will start asking you if you especially if you're attractive like who are you working where are you working how old are you what is your name but yeah. this doesn't where's happen. your boyfriend yes why he's not with you why are you going alone but actually this happily this doesn't happen often sometimes taxis are very calm silent 
they just take you and then leave. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can imagine. That's why I mentioned for girls, it's probably quite different. And for me, I don't know much Russian, so there's not there's no opportunity for a conversation with me except the very minimal. The other thing I was going to say is the way you get around the city is these gypsy cabs. I don't know what they're officially called. I call them gypsy cabs. Is there an official name for these? No, just taxi. It's just like let's catch a taxi, catch not order but oh, catch. Okay. let's catch a taxi not get a cab catch a taxi and also the price is very good when you uh, order taxi by uber or yandex you pay um, 20 at least 20 percent more when you catch car on the street like this you pay maybe uh, a little more than one dollar to get to for two or three blocks and that's okay if we go to the airport from the central area you need to pay maybe five dollars maybe six dollars still it's much more cheaper than when you catch yandex or uber yeah true that's been my experience much much cheaper so it's 380 tenge which is the local yeah. currency kazakh tenge to the dollar so i always pay three four maybe 500 tenge which is about a dollar dollar 25 but i love it it's super convenient it's more convenient than taxis let's do the demonstration Shall we? Yeah. Stop that. Добре ден. Четире улица приема. Okay, спасибо. Yeah, vote Danny. Kak basa vote. Mana? Mana? Ochen priyatna. Kaku bas tela. Normalna. Kruto. So normally what I pay, so apparently normally you're supposed to negotiate with the driver before you get in how I do it yes. because I don't know uh, much Russian I just tell them where I'm going and they usually just say yes normally though you, you, you usually you can negotiate a little bit with usually, the price when, like when, when I'm catching taxi I'm saying the location I need and I say for example uh, mega mall 400 got it yes if a driver is not okay with this she or he is telling me 500 I say yes or I say no and it's like making a deal so I'm gonna give them should I give her what three four hundred how much 400 400 yes because we're going four streets further four streets okay and with two of us yes is it does it matter if there's one or two people do you pay more for two it matters if it's more than two people if there are two people then you pay like for one for one person okay but if more than two people then you pay more gotcha sometimes uh situations happen when a group of people group of friends they want to catch taxi for really cheap price and drivers just don't uh, don't let them sit in the car because they're paying like for one person but they should pay for company ah so one in the car two in the trunk one on the roof yeah so as advised i will pay 300 you said 400, 400 right yeah. Four hundred. Astanavi dish. Is this? Yeah. Spicy ba. Da svedanya. What did she say? Doesn't close. Doesn't close. How was that? Was that a was that a more or less normal experience? It was normal experience as all people do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, how cool is that? So that's that's normal how you get taxis. There's actually not really I'll show you a shot of the street right now. It's about 5 p.m. There's not really taxis. See, none of these cars are taxis. Uh, I don't I actually haven't seen a taxi car. Are there taxis with the taxi sign? Yeah, there are. There are. They charge more, much more. And you see all these cars and you know, maybe every car can stop for you. Every car, every car is maybe, a taxi. Maybe, maybe. And you get to meet a friend. So okay, we that's. So really lucky. We got the first car, first car stop, and we made a deal. And it happens every time. Every time it's typical. Yeah. All right. Well, this is Danny Bubu and Jamelia mm -hmm. signing off. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> Subscribe, please. <laughs> All right. That was so cool. Great. <laughs> it was my first time experience. Yeah. Like this. Yeah. Glad you had fun.